Hello everyone, welcome back to the 4Play channel. It's Bella. This is Jace. Before we get into today's video, make sure to leave this video a like. It helps us out a ton. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss whenever we post a new video. And if you have any questions or comments, make sure to leave those below in the comments. <laughs> So today's video is all about Barcelona again. This will be our second and final vlog from Barcelona, but I am really excited to talk about this one. We went to Primark because I needed a little bag. I didn't have any like sort of tiny bag to, like I didn't bring a purse. And because we only travel with a carry-on and a backpack, it's difficult for us to like bring purses and stuff. And like, I don't wanna have to carry something on my shoulder. And so we were looking for something that kind of went across this way. And we went to Primark, went there for the first time a couple of days before, was like blown away. And so we went there and then happened to get a bag that was like so cheap, wasn't even expecting it. And then had the best gummies. There was a couple of vintage stores that I wanted to go to and we walked to one and then we found a whole map of an entire vintage area, vintage shop. So I didn't buy anything, but it was just really fun just to walk at all the little different vintage stores. Now I will say a lot of them were not vintage. They were just like reprinted, like wrap t-shirts. So vintage was a stretch on some of them, but it was still cool. There's a whole like little vintage street of clothing places in Barcelona. So it was, it was cool to visit. Next part of this day, this was probably like my most memorable day in Barcelona. I have been wanting to get a tattoo for a long time. And if you watch our last, like little last vlog, we have a friend named Julieta who lives there. And I asked her, I was like, hey, would you go get a tattoo with me? And she's like, yeah, of course. And so, we went and I got to get my first tattoo. We'll have like pictures and videos of me getting it there, but it was just such a cool experience to be able to do it in a different country, to be able to do it with a friend. And Bella, I thought she was going to get one. She kept going back and forth if she wanted to over and over and over. She didn't, but you know, she was our emotional support friend uh, while we got them. All right. So we're going to leave on the space for the movement. You just see here the articulation and I prefer every time. It's not that much down and it's not that much uh, up. Sorry. Yeah. Oh. Hi. I've done terrible things. Oh, I <laughs> right. I like, this this is our influence. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, but you should show your tattoo. They're so pretty. Oh, I have a ton. Ah, gorgeous. And this mm -hmm. one. This one's my favorite one. Magic. I love it. You're tatted now. What's it like to be tatted? It feels so hard. <laughs> We got the tattoos, or well not we, after they got the tattoos and I supported them getting the tattoos, which I actually kind of want to get tattoos now, I don't know, we'll see. But then we went and got dinner. There was this Avocados restaurant, this little restaurant that we saw whenever we actually got Patatas Bravas uh, the day before, or a couple of days before, and we wanted to try it out. And Julieta never tried it out either. We went there, we ate poke bowls, and it was so good. Oh. Next, she took us to a little ice cream shop. She said it was the best ice cream shop in Barcelona. And oh my God, I cannot agree more. I think technically it's gelato. I have never had, I'm not a big like ice cream person. I have never had ice cream or gelato even comparable to how good this place was. I'm a big ice cream person and that was by far the best type of frozen dairy product I'd ever had in my life. Got a uh, gelato from a cute little place that Julieta recommended. We got one with olive oil. It's like both chocolate ones with olive oil and the other one's lavender. Yum. 
after I got my ice cream cone. It was actually really close to her place, and so we walked over there so I could finish my ice cream cone, and her dad was throwing a little party, so we got to do a little house partying while I finished eating my ice cream, and then we said bye to her. Now we don't know when the next time we're gonna see her is because we are so far away. She's always like different parts of the world and we're always in different parts of the world, but. Next year, we'll find her somewhere <laughs> next year. We're walking home. It's midnight. I don't understand how this city is so alive. It's, it's like um, it's like New York. Like it feels like a European New York mixed with a little bit of Vegas, maybe some New Orleans. That's what Barcelona feels like. Next morning, we got up. We just walked then up and down or right around La Rambla just to see what was going on. There was a ton of little festivals going on. Actually, they were pretty big festivals. There was a lot of shows. They had these huge, giant... Giants? giants? <laughs> yeah, like not puppets, but there were people inside of it and they were dancing. And so that was really cool to see the culture. Uh, our friend Julieta said that they are always, the Catalonians are always looking for something to celebrate and they always love celebrating. So there's always some kind of party or festival going on. We're obviously huge food people. Whenever we travel, we love to experience culture, the food, and then also just try the random foods that aren't necessarily cultural, but look good. And so there was a French fry place that we had passed the night before. That on Bella, the way to get ice cream. Yeah, that Bella really wanted to try. So we went and got French fries, it was like a truffle French fry, and sat outside Cathedral Santa de Maria, I'm pretty sure. If not, I'll correct it right here. Okay, I got my fritas. And what kind did you get? I got um, like truffle mayonnaise, but it says it was vegan truffle mayonnaise. Look at our view. Let me eat on my skewer. We decided that we're giving it a 7 out of 10. It's good. Um, Not the best yeah. ever, but good. 7 out of 10 for sure. And then after this, it's only lunchtime, but I've been literally dreaming about that same ice cream that we got yesterday at that gelato place that Julieta took us to. So we're going to go back and I'm going to get the same ice cream. And we saw these cute little dogs, Pomeranian. There are so many Pomeranians in Barcelona, yeah. and they are the cutest Pomeranians I've ever seen. I did not see one uncute Pomeranian. And then I went and got ice cream again <laughs> at the same <laughs> ice cream spot because, I mean, we were right by it. All right, we made it back. You my favorite ice cream ever. Today you got to order in Spanish. You've got no one to order I mean, for you in Spanish. I'm actually going to take a picture of it and show it because <laughs> I, it's the longest I can't say it. Okay, so what kind did you get today? I switched it up. One of them, instead of the chocolate lavender, I got chai. Ooh. And then this one is the dark chocolate olive oil. <gasps> it's like so good. How long? It's been like less than... It's like this is like hours. 12 hours. 12 hours last time I ate this. <laughs> so whenever we were walking, we wanted to go back to the market. And this was a Saturday morning when all the little festivities were going on. And it turned out it was closed. And also, the grocery store was closed. And also, Primark was closed because we needed to return something there. So we came to go to our market that we like to go to to get some food. It's closed to every Everything's closed on Saturdays. Why? Okay, guess what? We went to our next stop and it also is closed. <laughs> the grocery store. And I looked up online and they're just closed on Saturdays and Sundays. And that was shocking to us as Americans because I feel like Saturdays and Sundays are the busiest days for grocery stores in America. This was a huge grocery store. And like, like the right on the yeah. Rambla Street. And like the market was closed. I guess that's just normal for some areas there. So it was really interesting to see, but we did not get the groceries that we needed, but we did finally make it and we found a shot glass. We decided we wanted to buy shot glasses when we went places as like mementos. And so we did get a cool shot glass. So we threw all away our shot glasses whenever we moved to our new apartment. And then we decided for our souvenirs, whenever we go on our travels, we're gonna buy shot glasses from each place and then learn the, like the cheers for that country. And so this is our Barcelona one. How cute is it? It has like all the Gaudi stuff and like mosaic. I love it. We did want to experience the swinging scene in Barcelona. And so we went to a swingers club called Oops. And we were going to meet some friends there actually that we had met at the hotel takeover in Ibiza that previous week. And we also saw them at the airport <laughs> before we went to Barcelona. So we went there with some of our friends. Okay, sorry the lighting's horrible, but we are here at our first swinger club in Europe. We've been to like, you know, the takeover, but right here behind us. We think. We think it's Oops. He said it's Oops. He says the, the address we, we dropped them off on. House. So we're gonna go, but we'll show you, we'll tell you some about it. But here we are, so you guys can see. That's where we're going, so I hope that's what it is. I saw people walking back here right there. Look at how like shiny I am. That's, that's, it's a highlighter. Update, this is definitely correct. They also have this very beautiful, I might have to listen to that. 
like it's art, but like, look, we found it. What an amazing swingers club. Yeah. When we tell you that the European swingers, at least this one, and pictures of other ones that we've seen from our yeah. friends who have lived in Europe and gone to other European swingers clubs, so much different than so the American different. ones. Like, like so much more upscale, nicer, more beautiful, just like more amenities. Like that one had a pool and like so many different areas to play yeah. they even have like little sh i say shed like it's a bad thing it's not a bad thing they have like these little sheds that you can even yeah. play in and it's like different dance floors it was humongous it was also very interesting because the the scene was very young there and i mean not saying it's not young other places but no i am saying that yeah <laughs> uh but it was like really young there's a lot of people in like their late 20s early 30s or at like, least they looked like they were yeah and there was a lot of people that age and i feel like that was just as much a majority as people's in their 40s and 50s for me it's not even so that was also just like an interesting thing about seeing a lifestyle club in spain it just i don't know it was different it was cool another thing we noticed was a little bit different is we always describe in america anyway the screen lifestyle is like walking through an airport you see all sorts of body types there was all sorts of body types here at this club too, but I will say a large majority of people were very fit, like in, in very good shape. And I would say majority of people were, which I'm used to it just being a, a broad, everyone is just everything. And it was just also interesting. And I don't know if that's just your, I mean, the fact that's Europe in yeah. general, not just the swingers club, like we walk around the streets and stuff and you do see people that are more fit. I think that that has to do with how much you walk in cities like that. Like, yeah. There's so many factors, but it was also just interesting because it's so different than what we're used to. The next day we wanted to go back to the beach again. So we walked over there and they were having a kind of like a farmer's market when everything's like put up with tents where you can buy food or jewelry or little trinkets, those kinds of things. So we walked by, looked at some stuff and then walked to our little spot that we liked where there wasn't as many tourists and there wasn't like huge waves. So we laid there and, and sat on the beach for a little while just taking it in. It was our last day in Barcelona. And then after that, we were hungry. We were planning on actually going to find croquetas. We did hear that some of like the things that you really need to try in Barcelona are croquetas, paella, and potato, potatoes, <laughs> patatas bravas. But we saw a sushi restaurant. And so we decided to go there instead. We just left the beach and we were going to go on a little adventure to find a place to eat croquetas. And then we walked past this place that looks so good. So it's all you can eat sushi, but it's like a la carte sushi. So it's not like a, it's a buffet. You don't go up and pick it. And it literally looks so good. And it's only 21 euro per person. And it's all you can eat. We haven't eaten anything yet. And it's like four. So we're like, might as well, let's just do it. And it's unlimited time. Like it looks so good. So we got coffee. And then this is the croquette, and this is the bao. We also, we already ate the seaweed yeah. salad. It was really good. <laughs> it was good. so good. But now we're gonna try this. All right, next stuff came out. Takoyaki. This one is like a flambe. I don't know why it has, I don't know. We'll see. Right, is it whipped it. cream? Who knows? And a little, I don't know. It's like whipped cream cheese. Ooh. This is our first round. We're about to finish the first round already. We're hitting the sushi wall. It happened. This is also the worst lighting because of this red tarp. This is, this is all we have left. They also forgot our carpaccio and I hope they don't bring it. <laughs> it's so good. I'm just getting so full and so tired. For us today, we just hung out and relaxed. It had been two and a half weeks that we've been gone and we were just tired from partying the first five days going walking you know five to ten miles a day in barcelona and so we just relaxed the last night didn't really do anything just had a nice little meal at home woke up the next morning we got to go to the barcelona lounge which was the nicest airport lounge we have ever been i mean it was huge it was incredible and then we flew home and so it was just such an amazing trip i'm so thankful we got to go it was really nice to have friends in barcelona that was like very different for us traveling somewhere where you know someone that can show you around it was just such an amazing trip. We met so many amazing people through this whole trip in Spain. And yeah, it was incredible. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. We love making these ones. So make sure to leave a like. It really, really helps us out. Subscribe so you never see post a video. And then if you guys have any questions about this video, if there's any videos you want to see from us in the future, make sure to comment down below. And we will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.